Hello, welcome to John B. RD, the research desk. What is social class? Any observer of American society would quickly note that there are large variations in wealth, material possessions, power, and authority, and prestige in our society. They would also note differences in access to education, health care, and leisure. One child and 10 lives lives in poverty in major industrial countries. One in five in the United States, taken together, these differences in resources and outcomes are thought of as bases of inequity. What is the source of this inequity? Some say it is the result of an unequal distribution of resources, power, and authority. <clears throat> What are resources, money, land, assets? Distinction made between wealth, monetary value of all own and income, amount of money brought in through wages, investment, etc. What is power, ability to be in charge, to rule? What is authority, control? partially in the face of resistance. Our material interests, money, land, assets, etc. The only basis of inequity, status represents another form of inequity, standing, esteem, respect, prestige, many involve physical ability, intelligence, beauty, occupations that are ranked in order of prestige, doctors, corporate, lawyers, financial experts, to garage collectors and janitors. When sociologists talk of social class, they refer to a group of individuals who occupy a similar position in the economic system of production. Within that system, occupation is very important because it provides financial rewards, stability and benefits like healthcare, or people in similar positions aware of each other? In broad terms, yes. Get information cues by type of job, neighborhood, clothing, cars, etc. Also, get information by conversation, topics, style, grammar, etc. Can people mislead or be misled? Of course. Is there a point of view specific to social class? Middle class values, working class values? How many social classes are there in the United States? Disagreement within the field on both of the numbers and the composition of these classes. Many sociologists suggest five upper class elite, representing institutional leadership, heads of multinational corporations foundations, and universities. Capitalist elite, owners of lands, stocks, and bonds, and other assets, wealth derived from that they own. Forbes magazine published a list of the 400 wealthiest families in America. In 1997, net worth had to be at least 475 million. Bill Gates in that year had net worth of 39.8 billion. Of all the wealth represented on the Forbes list, more than half is inherited. Nearly acquired wealth have vast amounts of money, but not often accepted into old money circles. Upper middle class represent specific and technical knowledge. Engineers, accountants, lawyers, architects, university faculty, managers, and directors of public and private organizations. 
have both high income and high social prestige. Well educated, difficult to define a middle class, i.e. upper middle and middle and lower middle. Probably the largest class group in the United States because being middle class is more that than just income. About lifestyles and resources, etc. Low middle class, clerical administrative, provide support for professionals, engage in data collection, record keep record keeping, paralegals, bank tellers, and sales, blue collar workers, and skilled trades, working class craft workers, laborers in factories, restaurant workers, nursing home staff, repair shops and garages, delivery services. Now to the poor, working poor, work full time at wages below poverty line, social services, underclass, Social class is one of the most important concepts that sociologists discuss and yet is defined. Definition is often elusive. There are two cla classical sociologists who are most important in the discussions about class, Karl Marx and Max Weber. And what is frustrating about both is that they did not produce a viable definition of the things that they wrote extensively about. Karl Marx, 1818 to 1883, assertion that there were two great classes, the owners of that means of production, capitalists, and the workers. The only thing that the workers owned was their ability to work, what Marx called labor power because owners, capitalists, paid wages to workers and could for the most part determine that wage. Owners had power over workers. Marx felt that the lack of power of workers was the source of exploitation and the basis of class conflict. Marx argued that owners and workers developed ideas, understandings, about their positions and this Marx called class consciousness. When owners convinced workers that their situations were compatible, Marx called this false consciousness. Although Marx talked mainly about two great classes, owners and workers, he was aware as well of a third category which he called petit bourgeois. Literally, little middle classes. And these were owners of own small businesses. Finding a location for this group was difficult because they lacked the power if the owners, and at the same time, had control over their worker and wages. Unlike the workers, moreover, according to Marx, sometimes they identified with the owners and sometimes with the workers. Max Weber, 1864 to 1920. The other sociologist was Max Weber. He argued that class referred to economic interest. It was a quantifiable economic position. Groups that share a common set of life changes and circumstances. But Weber also talked about status, prestige, important part was awareness of its value. Weber also talked about party, essentially putting the class interest into action. Eric Wright sees much crossover in this position. In two areas, finds differences. The discussion of exploitation for Marx, labor of worker appropriated, and eventually facing off against each other for Weber labor and class relations and exchange 
voluntary, a, comp a compromise, and the view of capitalism. Marx sees capitalism as destructive, source of class conflict. Weber views it as a natural and permanent, over time, best means for a giving and rational. <clears throat> Why is it important to study class? It is seen as one, perhaps the most, the principal line of social cleavage within society, place where the most serious disturbances and disruptions are thought to be traceable. If you found this video interesting and was a bit valuable, then please hit the like button and subscribe. Be sure to click the bell notify the bell icon to get notified of upcoming videos.